Let's use the same data as our previous example, except this time we'll use spreadsheet software to graph it. Common spreadsheet software options include Microsoft Excel, the most common and part of the Office Suite, Sheets, a free one from Google and part of the Google Docs, Calc, part of the Open Office Suite, which is also free, and Numbers, one you might have if you own a Mac. For this tutorial, we'll use the free Sheets from Google. Others are very similar, so you'll be able to do all the same things, but just may have to look for the equivalent or similar buttons. So we'll start by putting the data into the spreadsheet. We enter all of our data, of course just the numbers, no units. We keep the units in their titles, and the first column should hold the independent variable data, that is the x-axis data, and the second column holds the dependent variable data, or the y-axis data. So once the data is in, simply select all of the data, and then click Insert, and then Charts, and here we have some options. Under Chart Types, we can scroll down and find Scatter, and then Insert, and we have our graph. To look after our titles, we can right-click on the graph area and choose Title and we just fill in our main title here. In the same way, we look after our axis titles. On the graph area, we can right-click and choose Axis, then Horizontal Axis Title. Then again, for the Vertical Axis Title, and of course, we remember our units in all of our titles. Okay, we now have a nice graph, all scaled for us and looking good. Next, let's add a best fit line. Again, we'll right click on the graph area, but this time choose Advanced Edit, and then Customization tab. Then we scroll all the way down to the bottom, and under Trend Lines, let's choose Linear. And then Update, and we have our best fit line. And now we have a graph that's ready for analysis. In fact, we can even get a head start on our analysis by generating the equation for our trend line. If we go back and right click on the graph again, and this time Advanced Edit, Customization, and scroll down, we see that there are more available options under trend line now. One is to select Use Equation under the label. And Update, and we have our equation already. If you were using this graph for a lab or project, you can select the graph and copy and paste it into your word processor. If you just wanted to print to show your work here, then you can drag the graph over below your data, put your name up here, and print a single page. As you can see, using a spreadsheet is a very efficient way of plotting data. And unless it specifies otherwise, you are welcome to use this technique when asked to analyze or graph data in this course.